All right, everyone, welcome back. So obviously, uh, this is not my single player world, but we will get there in a second. I just wanted to show off what I built in that thumbnail for the last episode. A lot of people had uh, some questions about that, and I just made this for the thumbnail, honestly. But I figured I'd fly you around because it gives us a good idea of uh, what I was going to do for the actual building. You can see there's no uh, there's no backside to it because I knew that the thumbnail was only going to be... Uh, from this perspective right here. So that goes along with uh, what I've been saying about building in perspective and that whole situation. So yeah, I really like how these trees turned out and I kind of wanted to show this off a little bit. So here it is in actual person. You can fly around, take a look at this, watch it as many times as you want in case you want to rebuild it for something like that. But uh, let's actually go to the actual video now. Anyways, I hope everybody is having a lovely day while you're watching today's video. For me, it's been a little rough the past few days. I was actually trying to record yesterday and what ended up happening was I went to the dentist and they gave me a few shots in uh, my mouth and around my teeth and so my whole face was numb yesterday and I couldn't really talk all that much. It was kind of funny to be honest with you. Um, I was saying things like sawy and uh, <laughs> all that type of thing. I couldn't say the, word, the, the letter R so it was quite hilarious. But anyways, uh, I'm back to being able to speak again. So we are filming and I really wanted to get this episode out because it seemed like you guys really enjoyed the last episode and that thumbnail. So I want to start actually creating that now. I think it's going to be a lot of fun for us today. So we're going to head over there and probably build a few trees, I would imagine. And uh, we'll go from there. All right. It looks like some of our copper is doing well. I'm not sure why I made them cut blocks. I should have just left them as full ones. We would have gotten this done much quicker had I not done that. But one thing I have to mention, guys, it is so hot today where I am at. It is 92 degrees and in the northeast of the United States, that means it is very humid as well. So I am absolutely sweating buckets right now recording this video. I was just outside mowing my lawn. So um, I've come back in and started recording this immediately and it is uh, quite warm. All right, so this is a new technique that I wanted to try. I have never used this in a build before and I really wanted to give it a go here. So we have this five block gap right here. I have to sneeze so bad. <laughs> oh man, uh, five block gap right here, which means we can do a three window. And then what I wanted to do right here was make a box like this with the diorite walls. Now, this is going to be quite interesting. Oh, I feel another one. I think I just ate a bug. Oh, man. Wow. Okay. Yeah, the allergies allergies are definitely kicking in right now. Wow. <laughs> we have this. Um, I'm just going to make it all out of diorite for the time being. Uh, but basically... I was thinking about this in a dream, actually, and that is that this kind of looks like some sort of a pillar when you stack them up like this, kind of push out like that when you use the walls. And so I figured that we could actually do what I'm doing right here, which is put this on the corner like so. And that that kind of gives it that really cool, um, you know, boxy feel. So what I do is uh, then do the gradient that we did here. Obviously, we have these. Oh, whoops. That was an accident. We have those uh, stone or the uh, the tough bricks with the tough and then the smooth stone, andesite, calcite, uh, white wool, and the diorite. Um, and so I kind of would just repeat that here. Uh, but that just adds more shape to the build. And I think if we take those and we actually make those um, the highest pillar and then take this tower and taper it in a little bit, I feel like that would look really cool. So we might try something like that. And I want to fill in this wall right here, too, so you can get a visual. All right, I actually did not know that um, the uh, smooth stone doesn't have walls. I can't believe I actually did not know that. <laughs> I thought for sure there was a wall variant of this, but there's not. So I think we're going to uh, trim this down a little bit to some different colors. I keep destroying the tough blocks by accident. Stop it. Go back. There we go. Okay. So we'll dig up like, I don't know, this many blocks is fine. And we can just kind of do something like that. We'll alternate it the one right there and then we'll take uh i think we'll go andesite first here and droop those down like this and then we'll kind of just follow the same pattern i think i'm actually going to sink this one lower and then we'll take the tough and we can just uh do this right here so i really just like how this is kind of like a thin tower and then we can take our actual blocks for the gradient which are these guys right here 
And I think I'm going to put a window right here. I'm just going to um, extend it upwards like this. And uh, I just realized we didn't do a window on this side either. So we should probably plan that out, which uh, I was thinking they were just going to be on these blocks right here. All right. So I was thinking, I mean, they're going to go up higher. I was picturing like these really narrow windows. And then the door is going to be this huge spruce wood door. Absolutely massive, like you saw in the thumbnail. So we can make one of those as well. I should have a bunch of trap doors for that. But you can kind of get the idea of where we're going with this. Okay, so you can kind of see what I did here. I made like a rib cage, if you will, out of this dirt. So now we have a much more sloped hill. So this is what the intention was. But we obviously have this whole area over here that is like completely sloped off. So I think what I'll do is make a custom cliff and kind of like have the, uh, the grass, if you will, like overhang a really nice stone slash rock structure with a bunch of foliage around it. I think that'll look really cool. And maybe perhaps a hidden cave or something in there. I feel like that could be nice. I've done it again, haven't I? Wow. So I guess the next part of all of this is just to uh, kind of fill in this whole area. I think I might just have enough to get it done, but it is going to take a while. So uh, four stacks definitely isn't going to do it, but we do have a whole double chest over there full of dirt. So that I just threw out the wrong thing. Okay. All right. It's kind of rough <laughs> right now. Obviously that half not finished, but we have a much more um, easily sloped landscape in which we can uh, set up our trees and stuff. So the other half of the building will obviously be right there. So our center point is somewhere around here. And so I wanna have this path that kind of snakes its way up here. Uh, and I obviously want a lot of those yellow and red autumn, autumn, just said that like I'm from New Jersey. Um, a lot of these red and yellow autumn trees and uh, we can put lots of those up, which I think is gonna be very nice. So I say, Let's honestly build some trees right now. I feel like doing that. So we've got to get a lot of wool, a lot of glass, and yellow glazed terracotta. Where am I going to get that from? I'm sure there's a mesa nearby from my memory. So time to do some resource gathering. Let's go. All right, we'll go with that for now. Okay, so I'm gonna build up a few blocks just with the tuff because I really like this block as like a a tree stump. I'm not sure why, but I feel like it just looks really nice. Um, and so we'll extend out one like this right here. So I did a upside down stair and then a front facing stair. And so that kind of gives it some lean. And then uh, we'll switch to the spruce and kind of have it go uh, back in maybe only a little bit maybe something like this i feel like this will be okay it's still got that lean that we're looking for and then maybe we can do one stair this way and then uh, we'll have to kind of mess around with the actual shape of it but we kind of have like something like that and then we'll have extensions out this way this way this way and of course the other direction as well and we'll do that by using uh slabs is actually my favorite block to use for this type of design so let's grab our scaffolding here and i'm actually going to replace um some of the blocks that we put in the middle with uh some stripped wood so we can go in there and uh let's get ourselves situated here i'm a little misorganized okay so we can place that and then go like this and take our strip logs there we go all right let's take our stair and place like so and then this is where we can start bringing in the slab so i'm gonna have this slab extend outwards like this and i think i'm gonna have another slab over here and this one is uh just gonna go outwards like this i don't want it to be too crazy then we're gonna have one placed diagonally and uh, I'm going to delete these ones that are going like this. This is just to uh, place it sideways. So I feel like that's a good length. I don't know why I did that extra one. But then we can delete those ones on the corner like that. So we get something like this. I feel like this one should kind of honestly be over here. And I might actually bring this up now that I think about it. Kind of something like that is 
pretty okay. I'm going to add some more of them, but just to add a little bit of depth to the actual, uh, whatever you would call this, uh, the branch, not the branch, the, the, uh, blah, 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 the trunk. There we go. <laughs> uh, just to add a little bit of depth, you can, uh, you know, add some walls in there. Some buttons are always a nice addition as well. Those add a lot of detail and look like little uh, stubs of some sort. Uh, we'll get some more walls in there, but um, you can kind of see what I'm going for having this uh, split directions. I want to build the tree upwards. And so I think I'm going to add another one right here and kind of just do something very small like that. Maybe uh, one off in this direction. These ones are not going to have any leaves on them. Um, but I do want leaves on this one right here. So the, the key with making trees is all about getting that natural shape, right? Because that's something that's quite hard to get in Minecraft uh, because of obviously the blocky nature. So uh, we do have to try a little harder to um, go around with our thinking and just kind of see like what different shapes we can come up with by using this technique. So uh, I love to use... Um, Lots of trap doors as well. That's another great way to um, kind of transition each uh, section into its own here. Uh, and I think what we'll do is actually add... Um, let's actually step down here and take a look and see what we need. That's a great tip for you guys. If you're building a tree like this, just take a few steps back and look at it and kind of visualize what do you think you need there. So if we look at this, we can see we obviously need something off in this direction and maybe building upwards a little bit more. So I'm gonna build something going out this way right here. I feel like that would be really nice. So I might actually build one going back and then another one going out this way. I feel like that uh, would work well. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is find these branches um, and I'm kinda gonna find spots where I feel like things are empty and that's where I add uh, the tough walls so we obviously have a few in there and then that's a nice little spot so um that you can see what that did that really adds shape to the bottom of that tree now i want to make the leaves so that's why i use this yellow glazed terracotta this was actually a recommendation from one of you guys and i had never even seen the texture of this block until uh you guys told me to use it and i feel like you absolutely hit the nail on the head with this one because this looks like a leaf um uh, that is yellow so bam, look at that, absolutely beautiful. Now let's turn it into a leaf. So what I like to do is actually kinda um, just go around the stem like this. So you can see how I've done that with the branch and you can see what I mean by it kinda gets uh, covered up, but that is totally intentional. So obviously that looks very goofy, right? But that's just our base. Now what we're gonna do is kinda, if you could picture making a cylinder around this and just kind of shaping it off and giving it some more uh, spherical shape, if you will. Uh, and I like to do that by going towards the middle here. We have this middle ring and just going around that middle ring until you feel like it is um, at an acceptable size, which I feel like this should be pretty good right here. So that's pretty okay. Of course, we have to go underneath and replicate the same thing now. So we'll place a few scaffolding so we can do that. And we'll get underneath. And now we have a cool little shape like that. So that's always uh, a very easy way to create some leaves. And then what I'd like to do is go in there and add a bunch of random shapes afterwards. So you can see that makes a nice spherical circle around that tree. And basically, we're going to do that for every one of these branches until they all get covered and then we go through with the glass panes and the yellow wool red wool all those different colors and that's how we get that tree that was in my thumbnail okay i figure we would do a little bit of designing on this side i still haven't finished the whole thing yet but i will wait <laughs> i can't i can't get anything right in this whole segment okay i figured we would do the actual uh, little bit of designing part with the glass panes and some leaves. And so you're going to see how that's going to transform this tree in a very good way. And so what I like to do is um, jump up here with the scaffolding and take these oak leaves. And on the corners like this is where I like to place some of these blocks because I feel like they um, just make it look a little bit more like a tree. 
that's the wrong thing uh when you have the leaves there because uh I don't know, they just kind of poke out a little bit and it, it just looks quite nice in my opinion when you have them on the corners like this. You don't want to overdo it because we want our tree to be primarily yellow, but especially on corners like that and down here, definitely one in there. If I can get up there, that's a little bit of a tricky spot to get to. There we go. Um, and I just like to add them every now and then. I feel like it just creates a really nice uh, color palette with that green in there. So... I don't do it all the time. Uh, you can see that was very sparse. Um, and I would actually like to add a little bit more yellow blocks in there. Uh, but we will do that in a second. Now, uh, if you really want to get that autumn feel, I found that using these glass panes together, which are the orange, yellow, and red, uh, they really stand out. And they kind of blend all those colors together, especially if you do it in the correct uh, color pattern, which is the red to orange to yellow. Um, so we're going to use a bit of that here with that technique and use that shading. So um, we'll try it here on the bottom. I do like to um, actually hang them down sometimes. So on this one, sometimes I just kind of like drop them like this. The yellow works really well um, when it's up against a block like this, I think, in my opinion, because it kind of blends in and the orange is really good for a darker one. So you can honestly do some really cool stuff like having the orange or uh, excuse me, having the red go into the orange like this, because then you kind of get that gradient like that right there. So that's like a cool technique you can use. Um, you can do what we said where uh, you kind of have it go from red to orange to yellow. And then, uh, you know, maybe the yellow hangs off and you kind of just brush that in there. And so the, the cool thing about this is that you can kind of use them wherever you feel like there's not enough color. That's like the, the way that I like to do it. Um, definitely not there because those are going to connect. I did not realize that, but I do love to hang them off and put them in corners like that, especially when you put them in the corners, they tend to connect to each other. And then if you want things to extend outwards, like you can add some red in there and that like extends a leaf outwards. And so, uh, definitely some orange down here, I feel could look really cool. And uh, yeah, you kind of just repeat that all the way around and uh, definitely add some different yellow and red blocks in here to kind of get some really cool feel. So I'm going to repeat that a bunch along here and you're going to see how that transforms the tree. All right. And how about that? I really love how that turned out. Isn't that so cool? It looks like a tree made of gold and that's what I love about it. And then I did this kind of little sprinkling of leaves down here on the bottom i feel like this looks really cool oops i forgot a block nobody saw that anyways i'm really happy with how this turned out i think that's so cool especially the use of the glass panes i don't know something about it for me i just really love using glass panes but you can see the um the yellow wool i kind of threw in there there's some glass blocks and i really think adding those leaves kind of helps identify it as a tree a little bit better it, it just gives it a little more of that nature look so i'm really happy with how that tree turned out so basically i'm just gonna remake that a bunch of times but i would love to um, figure out and sort out the rest of this face right here so let's try and uh, figure something out there i think what i'm gonna do is design some windows and then maybe a roof and we'll go with something like that I think I'm going to build the door next. This is going to be absolutely nuts. So I'm picturing the door being like this high and then it has a pointed uh, roof like so. And I want to make it out of spruce trap doors. That's going to take like at least a stack of them, if not more. But we'll go up to the top and we'll make that rounded point. That's going to be the easiest part of all of this. So I'm going to grab some diorite stairs and some diorite blocks. And this is what's gonna help us get that shape. I'm gonna go one in from the wall, like you've seen right here. Actually, I do want that block. I think this is probably a good height, right? I feel like this is decent right here. And so we'll step in and this is where we've gotta go from. So I think I'm gonna pick right here and I'm gonna place my two upside down diorite stairs. 
And then I think I'm going to go up one for each one. So I went up one that time. And then I'm going to go up one again. And that's where I'm going to place the stair. And then I'm actually going to go down a block on this one and replace it with calcite. Because that's going to give us uh, that shape right there. And then I'm going to make a one block space like I did right there. And bam, upside down, diorite stair there. And then just fill the rest in with calcite. I'm planning on making a window here, but we'll just leave it like it is for now. And you can see once we jump down, you get this sick uh, archway right there. That is exactly like what I'm going for. All right, let's make the door. So I don't know what the floor of this place is going to be yet. So I'm kind of just experimenting with um, this stripped spruce wood. I feel like that's fine. But here's what I was explaining. So we are going to go behind the stripped spruce wood. So on this block, this is our wall block right here. Go behind one. And I'm going to place a whole bunch of trap doors along this. So our our actual door is going to go on this block. So I'll just do this for now. Might change later on. It's just temporary. Um, and so we have our door so we can actually get in. But what I'm going to do is take these spruce trap doors and stack them on top of each other like this. And we're going to do this all the way up to there. So hopefully I have enough. It's going to be so many, but you can see in the end, this is going to create a really cool door. Wow, that's actually remarkable. <laughs> I made just enough. Well, if you're remaking this door, you need a stack and 18. All right, big reveal. Oh, man, that is so cool. That is so cool. I love it, dude. I absolutely love it. Oh, man, it is coming together, isn't it? I am absolutely in love with how this is turning out. I'm getting so many ideas by just looking at it. It is the following day. Have a look at this. I was mining for some calcite. And we've got a spawner here. But not only do we have this spawner, not even 10 blocks this direction. We've got another one. Isn't that something? I believe this one is a spider one. I haven't checked yet. That's what it seems to be, though. All right, here comes quite the challenge. I don't know how I'm going to design the roof for those pieces right there. I didn't really think about that. So it's a four block space, which means it's like this. And we'll have to get them to all connect which is not exactly the easiest thing in the world to do i think if you do it this way i'm so confused there we go okay so that's the space that we have for the top of those so i'm not really sure how to make this work but i do have some ideas i mean i have these end rods as well those are fairly skinny this is why i got this prismarine though is uh normally i was using that for the top then we could kind of like I don't know, maybe getting on there and getting it to do the square, I think it's going to be the hardest part, but I think I know how to do it. Can a player fall down in there? I wonder. <laughs> okay, stop getting sidetracked. So one like this, one like that, and then it, you got to place it on the insides, I think, like this on that one pixel right there. There we go. Okay, so now we have that square. And then we'll take the uh, prismarine walls and we'll place a few of those on top of the copper stairs. Just like this. That's nice. And then I think I'm actually going to go too high for that. And then we'll take the end rods and put those at the peak. I think that is the best way to make one of these. Now, what I am a little nervous about is... I thought maybe I should do this as well around it, but I don't know now that I see that. I feel like that's doing too much by adding that. So I think I'm just going to have the, the copper stairs there because this is just like more of a little decoration roof. I do have iron bars as well. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, they. Uh, I didn't know that it thins up like that. Yeah, let's use the iron bars. So we went from the... Uh, the copper stairs into prismarine walls into the iron bar into the end rod. I feel like that's a cool transition. Now, uh, let's just get 
one of these roofs in here. We'll just do half of it for now so we can save materials because we're still in the planning stages. All right, so I already know how that's going to look once I jump down there. So I'm really going to like that. That's going to suit that tower really nicely. Um, and so we'll replicate that on the other side as well. So you can see um, that shape and what we've got going on there. So just lots of little details. Now, the big thing about this tower, right, is that the actual um, shape of this is the lowest point of this whole thing. Did it really have to start raining right now? That's a thunderstorm. I'm going to bed. All right. So what I was trying to explain was this is the lowest height of our whole build. Because remember what I said, how everything is going to go from the middle and taper inwards like that. So uh, we don't want this roof to be pointing up super high because everything is going to taper inwards. So now I'd like to kind of make this second piece. So what I think I'm going to do is this is going to be our highest point. So um these ones are gonna have like a small little other layer you need to go sir so this is just gonna have one more small little layer i think and then we'll kind of make like a triangle-ish thing up here it's gonna be hard to explain but i'm gonna try my best but i think i famous last words i think i know what i'm doing <laughs> so let's go ahead and give it a try so i have polished andesite and polished diorite and so i oh boy i'm lucky i got quick reflexes can I do it on this take? We will find out. Okay. Oh, I have the polished andesite stairs and polished diorite stairs and the calcite. The calcite's going to continue the wall. This is going to be the trim for our roof, like you've seen down here. This is going to be our upside down stair block. So I'm going to go through a couple different iterations of this, I think, before we get the final product. But I want this to taper into a center point. So I'm going to start with the polished diorite. So that's going to go here, I think. And then we'll go up one block. I did have it right before. Okay. So, <laughs> all right. So it's upside down stair. Then it's block. Then it's stair. Then it's upside down stair. Then it's block. Then it's stair. There we go. And there's our center point right there, which is that one. Okay, there you go. So now you can kind of see that shape that I was going for, having that like cathedral peak in the center. And I would like kind of a similar thing for this, but not as pointed. I would like for these to be more um, just regular triangles like this. So we'll make those next because that'll be nice and easy to do. All right, so that's what we're left with for today. So I think next episode's objective is we... what. Blah, 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 blah. Ah. Man, I can't talk. Next episode's objective is I really want to figure out what I'm going to do right there. Because honestly, right now, I have absolutely no idea how I'm going to uh, kind of tie that all in. Uh, but we will figure that out as time goes on. But I think this is a good spot to end with right now. I feel like this is um, pretty decent so far, right? This is about what i was going for i would say so um i'm just gonna put basalt behind the windows for the thumbnail but that's going to be it for today's video um i would like to go over the comment of the day so let's jump to that he's still spitting at me man relax so today's comment of the day comes from le chat pote that is how i'm going to pronounce that i have no idea how you actually say that they say, do you sometimes feel like there is too much things to do in Minecraft for one human life? Like having a hundred ideas a day and being only able to build once a day. And I guess my short answer is uh, not really. I don't ever really feel restricted in this game because I try to plan out what I'm doing um, in a certain way to where like i always have ideas in this game so i very rarely have i ever like completely run out of inspiration i've always had something that i've wanted to do it's just a matter of if i want to spend the time to actually do it now i guess that ties in with your question um sometimes it feels like there's not enough time in the day to get what i want to do done but 
for example, this build, I'm not really forcing myself to do it in a certain time period. So I'm kind of just doing it whenever I want to. I work on it whenever I want. Kind of just, you know, do whatever it is that I feel like doing around here in no sequential order. And I feel like that allows me to kind of get done what I want to do in one day because um, let's just say I wanted to finish the roof today. If I don't finish the roof today, then that kind of makes me feel a little bad about myself of like I did. I wasn't able to get that done and it makes me not want to play because I just realized how much work I have ahead of me. Whereas if I do it like little steps at a time and I'm just doing, you know, one little project at a time, like you saw me work on so many different things today. It's kind of just like knocking out one little step at a time instead of this whole huge project. So I think it's all about the perspective of how you look at it. And um, I don't feel like there's too many things to do in Minecraft at all. I feel like it's all about how you decide to play the game and what you choose to do that certain that um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like determines what. You're going to play the game like I think is the best way to explain it. If you see it as a game that needs to have every achievement accomplished, then um, when you play it that way, once you accomplish all those achievements, there's nothing left to do, right? <laughs> you just you completed everything. So that's the end of the game. Whereas if you play it in the sense of like it's artwork or something, there's never an end to it because art is an unlimited thing. There's you have unlimited ideas that you can come up with. You just got to go out there in the world and search for them. So uh, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I know it was a little bit late. I am truly very sorry about that. I was trying my best to get this out yesterday. I simply just could not. <laughs> I There was too much work that needed to be done. Um, and especially with going to the dentist and I couldn't speak properly and all that. It was just it wasn't making for a good video. So anyways, yeah, I think that's just about it for today. We don't need to continue on with what I'm doing here. This is just for the thumbnail, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so, so much. I'll run around to the front so you can see it one more time here. Anyways, I believe that is going to do it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. You are greatly appreciated. Again, world download at 5,000 subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed already, please be sure to do that. And uh, that's it for today's video.